Hello and welcome back to Harriet's Custom Computer Art Plus. I ended up putting this in a separate tutorial so it would be easy to find uh, for anyone that's trying to make the graduation cap box, the jumbo graduation cap box. So what I found out was that when I would turn the pieces for the cap box, if it's turned at different angles, the measurements would change in Cricut under Edit. So in order for everyone to get the um, measurements correctly, if you turn your pieces where they're uh, basically the taller portion on the side pieces, like this one for the um, base, the box base, and this one for the uh, cap top, if you turn those where they're the height is vertical as opposed to horizontal then you can put in the measurements that I'm using and your cap boxes will um, come together correctly so please when you get your template set it up like this in your cutting software and I'm going to give you the measurements now that I use which makes a perfect uh, box so for this first piece this one is 6.2 inches and this is the octagon that makes up the bottom of the mortar so this is the one that will be in the underneath the mortar board once again that's 6.2 inches by 6.2 inches this is the side panel that makes up this portion of the top so that the box can close and this one is three inches wide by 3.07 inches high. This is the base of the box, the biggest uh, portion other than the mortar board. And this portion is 8.25 by 8.25. This is the larger octagon that makes up the base. The side piece that goes along with the octagon, this one is... 3.97 by 5.72 so make sure that you set them up straight like I have these where the height is vertical and the width the smaller portion is horizontal and then the mortar board uh, piece I do not include that in the template because I just make a shape a square shape and then resize it to uh, 9.25. There is a, on the um, measurement page that I included, which disregard that because like I said, if you're turning your pieces, the measurements will change. So um, this one is 9.5 inches. Sometimes I make it 10, but it, it doesn't uh, really make a difference. Now, in order to make the diagonal, I'll go ahead and duplicate this one by going to Actions, Duplicate. And all you do, spread out, spread, uh, bring it in a little bit. All you're going to do is turn it on the di. I'm sorry, let me backtrack. I'm going to turn it diagonally, and then I'm going to make another square shape. Design space acts kind of weird on the extra large iPad, the 9.12.9. Uh, so all I do is resize the square and then I put it right down the middle of this diagonal turned square or diamond shape. And on the iPad, it pops to it, so it's easy to do. Then you just slide across and hit slice and get rid of all the extra pieces that you don't need. And so that gives you the diagonal for your mortar board. I'll change it to a different color just so you get the effect as well. I'll make it yellow. So that's what gives you that cross section piece. Okay, hopefully that's been helpful. 
And I'd love to see you post some of your uh, grad caps if you make them. You can uh, come to my group, which is Harriet's Custom, I'm sorry, Harriet's Computer Art Templates and more on Facebook. And I have some free templates there, and I'll be putting more up um, coming very soon. But uh, I'd love to see your your grad cap, so feel free to join that join my group and post your work. Okay, I'll see you next time.